Hello friends, welcome back to Curious Mind. We are here with yet another robot. This time, the robot uses transmission of motion at right angles. It's a very simple, interesting and very very informative robot. To make this robot, we need two L plates, one C plate, one double bar, two big gears, one medium gear, one medium axle, one long axle, one V, spare parts and again one motor. First, we will make stand for our robot using a C plate and two L plates. So let's attach the L plates to the C plate. Now we will have to attach a double bar to complete our stand. But to do that we need 4 L connectors to be attached to the L plate. Now we will attach the double bar. So a stand is ready. Let me show the stand clearly from all the sides. Now it's time to attach the motor. So as always, we'll first remove the motor screws. Now place the motor shaft and reattach the motor screws. And watch carefully the position of the motor shaft. After attaching the motor, we are going to attach the gears. Medium gear will be attached as the driving gear while the big gear will be attached as the driven gear. But for the big gear, we need to make a hole where our big gear's center is coming. So let's make a hole using flat rotator. We have made one hole to attach the big gear, now we need to make one more hole exactly opposite to that to attach the shaft which passes through the big gear. So let's see if the shaft passes through both the holes free. Yes, it does. And now let's also see if the big gear meshes with this medium gear below. Yes, it does. In the next step, we are going to attach one wheel. This wheel is going to drive our gear above and is going to pass the motion at right angles. So I want this wheel at the center but this wheel will move here and there and to avoid that axial movement we will have to put two shaft locks on both the sides of the wheel. So that way we have a medium gear, a big gear, an axle and on the same axle we have a V. So the next step is to make space for hanging our rotating doll. 
For that, we are going to put two flat rotators to make hole. So I'll take one inch bolt to lock these two flat rotator. Now in this step, we are going to attach a big gear to a medium shaft and which will rest on this wheel. For that, I'm going to put the medium axle. Then I will join this big gear and I will lock the big gear with a sharp lock. That way, the big gear is resting on the V. Now, our robot is done. What we need now is to attach any figure, any rotating figure or any figure which can give you uh, optical illusion on this shaft so that when we rotate this the figure is going to rotate on its own so it, as you can see in this case we have transferred this motion of the motor which was in the horizontal direction to the more to the object which is in the vertical direction so the horizontal direction motion is transferred to a vertical motion so i have attached a girl and a boy on two sides of my shaft and I will try to rotate this and see how it looks so I'm attaching the motor to my remote So you can see because we have used the medium gear on the motor and the big gear to drive the assembly it is rotating slow but what happens if we interchange the gear let's see so now I have interchanged the gear I have attached the big gear onto the motor and the small gear to drive the assembly so let's see the change in the speed That surely was very very interesting robot. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have missed our earlier robots, then you can watch them at the link there. And 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 do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get new video every fortnight. We'll come up with another interesting robot in the next 15 days. Until then, happy making!